your blood fans, today we're going to be trying a do-it-yourself Japanese snack thing. Don't know what they're really called to be honest, but yeah, let's just get into it. Yo vlog fam, so today is a different kind of video, and we have this, which I don't know which way to show it, I'll show it this way and then flip the camera if needed. So we have this, which is a do-it-yourself Japanese snack, so yeah, let's open it and see what the contents are. I've never done like a top-down video before, so this is like a little different for me. So let's move that off to the side, we'll probably need this for the instructions. And I've literally like, torn the instructions. So yeah, we have, this is the context, context, contents of the box. Oh look, it has like a little guy, like here, and a spoon. Like, like, tear these off, at least they're numbered, so they're easy to understand. So we have like, three bags here. So bag one, bag two, and then bag three. And then, like I said, a spoon. So let me just read the instructions and I'll come back. So I'm back now with my instruction sheet. So I'm just gonna look at the instructions, read them off. So it says, do it yourself, candy, add water and knead to make the powder change color and turn into a fluffy candy. Put no Put number one powder into the round hollow in the tray. So I guess that's this one. So put number one in the round hollow in the tray. So let's do that. So let's pour that in. Let's smell it. Oh, it smells sweet. Like, not edible sweet though. So that's weird. So we've done that. Pour a triangle measuring cup of water into the powder knead well. So I guess this is the triangle. So let's snap that off. There we go. So we'll go and get we'll go fill this up with water and then we'll come back. So we've put that in. Where's the spoon? What have I done with the spoon? I oh, found it, it's underneath the tray. So let's knead well. Oh, it's becoming like a dough. Thought it smelled like grape. That's purple. Oh, my hand was covering the whole thing. That's just terrible. I will learn from my mistakes. I think that's needed well. So let's read what we need to do in number three. Oh wait, number two. You can count. So it says. Put number two powder and stir them until colour change. Let's pour number two in. And then stir it until the colour changes. I don't know what colour it's supposed to change to though. Oh wow! It's like an instant change. like magic. This is crazy. I guess that's until colour change. Put number three sprinkles candy into the hollow so that's 
the guy's face. I'm guessing that's guessing. Is it great? Oh wow, they're not like sprinkles. I'm sure they look like sprinkles on the front of the packaging. Let's have a look. Oh no, they look like that. The little candy bits. Doesn't really say what to do next, so I guess just scoop it up. And then just do that and this. And then just try it. Ooh, ooh, it's a bit weird. I'm hoping I made it right. Oh, I don't like it. So sour. Oh, yeah. Let's try each ingredient separately and see if that like makes a difference. Cause it tasted like really sour. No, those little candy bits are fine. So it's probably this stuff. Try it again, but a smaller amount. It is, it's this stuff, it's really sour. I'm really not sure if I've done it right. Because I'm really not enjoying it. I guess it's an acquired taste, it's just really sour. I've been two tracks and you've been watching me do a Japanese snack treat. It was just way too sour and I did not enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and pull that bell button. My Snapchat logo will be somewhere up there and a link to my Instagram and Twitter and donation links will be in a link in the description below. See you back on Saturday. Yeah, Miss Ross, sorry I was careless. Change this, well I thought that we were strangers.